Here's an update on the Mars VR program. It's been a couple months since the last program video update and our team's been hard at work on the phase one VR environment, which is a capture of the real life Mars Desert Research Station in Utah. Today we're ready to show you some of the results of our hard work. Our team traveled to the MDRS in June and captured three types of scans. First, we brought along a 360 degree Matterport camera and our director of engineering, Shannon Norell, took several dozen scans all throughout the inside of the MDRS HAB and the other facilities, which we showed the results of these scans in late June. These will be featured by Matterport in some upcoming marketing efforts. Second, our drone expert, Ben Skogan, who runs the company Aeroscout in Grand Junction, Colorado, flew his drone with a high resolution camera, which captured a square mile of terrain around the MDRS facilities. We are currently processing this terrain further and doing some follow-up scans and other work to improve this terrain model. Finally, our photogrammetry expert, Oz Balabanian, made detailed scans using both LiDAR and full frame scanning equipment, which produced these amazingly detailed VR ready assets. These are amazing quality scans and really show the detail of the facilities. Since June, Oz has spent many hours improving these scans through meticulous work using the Oculus Medium tool, some of which he has live streamed on his YouTube channel. Here you can see our airlock and EVA prep rooms where our crew members prepare to go outside the base in their simulated spacesuits. Here is our green hab where horticulture activities are done throughout the field season. It's a little empty now, but it serves as an ideal canvas for us to create some VR training using 3D models of plants that will layer on top of the environment. Here's our science dome where all different types of biological and geological experiments can be worked on by our crews. Here's the Musk Observatory, which has one of our telescopes. Crew members can do astronomy experiments here. It was originally built from a donation by the Elon Musk Foundation. All of this is very exciting progress leading up to our beta release this fall and we still hope to use the phase one environment to train the upcoming crews for the next MDRS field season. And just a reminder, everything you see today will eventually be open sourced, including our terrain, our photogrammetry and 3D models. We also plan to create training environments and educational resources around our Unity project so that others can learn how to use and modify our work but also to learn about VR and 3D programming for their own purposes. A central pillar of Mars VR is STEM education and public outreach to tell the story of sending humans to Mars. And this is only phase one of our long-term program. The Mars VR program will be featured extensively at the upcoming 21st annual International Mars Society Convention and our team is on the schedule for a panel discussion and for a demo at the Saturday Night Banquet event. In addition, we will have a VR exhibit on the floor of the convention so that all attendees can check out our work for themselves. Mars VR will be featured on Saturday, November 3rd at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, where Dr. Robert Zubrin will be a featured speaker. I'd like to thank our team and especially our many partners in the VR industry who have gotten us this far and we will continue to work with in phase two and beyond. I already mentioned Matterport who loaned us one of their 360 degree cameras and free cloud processing. Pix4D provided us a free license to their industry leading drone mapping and photogrammetry software, which we've been using extensively to process our terrain scans. Aeroscout and GeoRanger are part of our team, which operated drones at the MDRS and processed the terrain models. Capturing Reality gave us a discounted license to their Reality Capture CLI software, which we used to process the internal scans of the MDRS. 
Insta360 will be sending us a new version of their one camera as a permanent donation. And we'll use that for the next MDRS field season to capture 360 degree photography throughout the field season. Paperspace has provided us discount cloud processing resources. VR Oslo and Adapa 360 are working with us to promote the Mars VR project in Europe and to eventually test some new VR hardware and processes at the MDRS. Our colleagues at Texas A&M are working on 3D models of the real rovers we use at the MDRS. The team at Texas A&M will also be featured on our VR panel at the upcoming Mars Society convention, where they'll show their latest work on spacecraft VR, and we hope to partner with them long-term to improve both Mars VR and spacecraft VR. Jeff Dillon from Unity is also participating in our panel. He's a senior engineer at Unity and he's already been helping us on how best to utilize that tool. But all of this is thanks to our over 200 Kickstarter and pre-order backers. Thank you. If you missed our Kickstarter this May, we still have some rewards available for backers to purchase in our pre-order store, which you can get to by visiting our main program website at marsvr.io. Until next time, I'll see you on Mars.